Yeah, so we started in the Philippines last year, uh, and we've been booming ever since. So we just entered into the top five of budget hotel players in less than a year, uh, which is a record. And so today we're present in 120 locations uh, in 10 cities uh, all across the Philippines. Okay, well, in an interview with Business World, you did say that hotel markets or hotels markets value here in the Philippines is very poor, especially the value turnover. Now, is this really more pronounced here in the Philippines compared to our other ASEAN peers? Can you expound on this, please? What's missing? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's a historical lack of competition uh, in the Filipino market. Uh, when you look at the uh, value for money proposition in the Philippines relative to other markets uh, like Indonesia or like Thailand, uh, <clears throat> there's clearly been uh, a big problem historically. And so if you ask the Filipinos, um, uh, you know, what will you get uh, for a hotel room uh, at a thousand pesos, uh, historically, uh, they haven't been satisfied. And so you would have to pay 1,500 pesos, 2,000 pesos to get something. Also for that reason, if you look at the 50 million domestic trips that Filipinos are taking every year, 70% of those uh, are with relatives or friends. And that's because there's just been, so far at least, no affordable option in the market. And so that's why we started uh, Zen Rooms in the Philippines to really th rethink the value for money proposition. How can we provide a clean double room with air conditioning and Wi-Fi at the cheapest cost possible? All right. So uh, um, that is, of course, your very, uh, the very core of your business. Now, is there anything special that you can tell me about what travelers around the Philippines, both domestic and foreign, are looking for when they go around, let's say, to the beaches or to other cities here in the country based on your data analytics? Well, clearly, uh, today, uh, the, you know, if you look at the Philippines, just like any other Asian countries, 60% uh, of the population is below 35. So you have a big uh, trend of millennials that want to travel. Uh, they want to travel younger in life. They want to travel more often. And those millennials, they have very special needs. Uh, they want to travel cheap, but yet uh, they want a clear standard. So it's not acceptable if a room is not going to have any Wi-Fi. Right. That's it's not acceptable right. yeah. uh, <clears throat> if uh, that room is going to be overpriced. Yeah, Wi-Fi is like water today for millennials, right? <laughs> that is and very so true. That's why at Zen Rooms we focus on a very key essentials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, so you have a... And so they want to travel more often. It's, it's no longer, let's, let, yeah. No, yeah, please finish your thought. Yeah, no, they want to travel more often. Uh, they want to be able to travel much younger in life than their parents. They want to be able to explore their country, and, and that wasn't necessarily the case for the previous generation. And so today you have the budget airlines that have done a very good job at allowing them to go from city to city. But in terms of accommodation, there hasn't been anything disruptive coming from the local hotel chains to be able to travel at less than 1,000 pesos a night. All right, are you privy to tell me where you're going to open next here in the country? You're available now in Manila, in Cebu, in Davao, and in Boracay so far, as far as I can see in your app. Um, any other provinces that you want to open in? Sure, we're expanding very fast. So uh, we are opening Palawan, uh, we're um, uh, in Angeles, uh, and so we're constantly thinking about new cities. Uh, today we're in 10 cities, we'll be in 20 by the end of the year. All right. Well, congratulations and uh, looking forward to your expansion here in the Philippines. And uh, of course, I want to try booking also a room and, and you know, enjoying your really fast Wi-Fi. Thank you very much, Nathan Bublil, for joining us all the way from Bangkok.